Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Mm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honour. Oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. <laughs> Your sword is mine. That'll be the day. the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down. <sighs> you won. A man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer lived east of here near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad. About as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Get out of my sight. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll? Uh -huh. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some Do I need to play, Camille, then? 
<laughs> Oi, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast? Been the Smiths, lass. Get a tooth one. Not a bad idea. Nice tits on her. I'm talking about the Shrieker. We can have a oh, shit. Go, go. Oh, go. Oh, oh, we got us a hero looking to save the common folk. Dania. Come on, Roach. Try to win them all. You won't. Stay out of my way. Ooh. Come on now. New God's lucky. Got a pass? Cool. You don't need a pass. We're from Nolgebra, eight generations and more. The war court is in disease. Why did Epsilon have to be our lot? No pass. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. Uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense for Colin again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. You 
do know there are witch hunters in the city. To support the war effort. Hey, best players this side of the pond. So now, what can I do with you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word, I'll have it tomorrow. Let me see. Might pick something. So long. said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. And who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19, and there you have my life. 
Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seat. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire, and then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? I've forgotten it already. Well, well. <coughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck.
Let's go. 